You ready? Okay, wait, wait, wait. In Jackson Hole, he bought a cowboy hat and turned into a cowboy for a week straight, and I had to deal with it. In Vegas, he buys these Louis Vuitton sunglasses, and now I have to deal with this diva the whole weekend. I'm impressionable, what can I say? <laughs> I'm gonna insert footage of you at the club now <laughs> with these glasses on. <laughs> Good night. Guys, we're in Vegas. We're about to go home. This is the end of our trip, so I started vlogging it. <laughs> I don't understand you. Well, it's too hard to vlog. Like, it is. you know, when everything's going on, but whenever it's the end of the trip and everything's peaceful, it's like not that hard. Yeah. It's Monday, and you're gonna enjoy Monday with me. So right now we are going to walk to McDonald's. We need to actually put a pep in our step because we're gonna run late for a flight if we don't. Okay, we're gonna miss our flight to get me a Dr. Pepper. All to get you a Dr. Pepper. Worth it! Oh my God, I look crazy. Oh my God. Welcome Wait. to the devil's asshole. Stop! Yes, it is that. <laughs> Las Vegas. I forgot sunglasses. We went there last night. It's a brand new hotel. We didn't go there. We yes, went we to, did. Um, the Caesar's Palace. We went there before. Oh. Did you not know that? You can never tell where Laura I'm at. Laura tried here. to get a video film there for you guys, the Kardashian closet, but it just didn't work out. Tell them how bad it was. Um, it was a wall with like maybe 10 or 15 pieces. And I asked him how much one Dolce & Gabbana shirt was. Cause it, that was the only piece that was like size small, cute, two thousand dollars. Whoa! So I was like, "Girl, goodbye." Yeah, but none of the heels were my size, and like all this stuff was crazily priced compared to what it normally is. So. Well, we watched the football game at that hotel, so that was cool. Yeah, it was cool, but their stuff is much better online. What do you want? Let me order for you. Order what you want. You want any of this? Order what you want. And then I'll get what I want. We have to film everything because the vlog started now. <laughs> we have we to film everything we do today because we started the vlog. You didn't take a poop? I'm filming it. Customize the ingredients. <laughs> Biscuit. Where's the um hash browns? There you go. Are you not able to make it a meal? I don't know what I'm doing. Ordering everything individual. Look, sandwiches and meals. I clicked that. Okay. All right here. I'm gonna add that. Make it a meal. Make it a meal. And then you can add one more on. Do you remember whenever we were 21 and we used to go to the club all the time and get stamps all over our hands and wrists? Cut to me. I'm actually asleep right now. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Whenever right they there, stamp yeah. my wrist last night, I said, oh my god, not the go wrist again. stamp. Yeah, memories unlocked. Yeah. That's still a drop of drink. Dr. Pepper, iced coffee, mm. breakfast. Mm -mm. Good job. I stayed at the Encore the past two nights. What'd you think? Did you like it? Oh, I loved it. It's the win. The win and the Encore are the same hotel. They're connected. Yeah. And you can pick what side you want to stay on. But the Encore is a little more modern and the rooms are bigger. Yeah, I think they built the Encore after, after. the win. In addition, but yeah, it's a good hotel. Welcome to Vegas. We're going home. And we're copyright stricken. <laughs> All right, we're ordering an Uber. We just did a speed pack and got our luggage right there, all ready to go. Packed up the trash. And uh, that's about it. This hotel is really cute. This is what the inside of the room looks like. This is me. And uh, I'm really hot right now because I just ran around like a crazy person packing. 
I wonder if Brian Cranston will be on our flight home. He was on our flight. We were, I don't remember if I did, but he was on our flight here. <laughs> and Ty was like, is that Brian Cranston? And I was like, yeah. He's like, are you sure? I was like, look at the notebook on the table. And in huge letters, it said Cranston. I was like, definitely him. So, we did not say hello. It's like literally, it feels like, like a 30 minute flight here. Maybe 45 minutes here so freaking quick and we'll be back home in no time Honey, okay, I just got out of the shower, did some skincare. I'm like, oh my god, did I not put my moisturizer on? I did. Um, I did some skincare, and now I just want to unpack, I guess, some stuff. But it's like five o'clock. As soon as I got home, I started doing a bunch of emails, and those are done because it's te it, it's not technically it's Monday, so all the emails come through. And I also didn't get much done on Friday. Kind of took a day. I knew I was gonna be gone this weekend. Um, so I kind of took a day to revamp myself, refresh myself, I don't know. But I did that and so I didn't do emails on Friday either. So my inbox was a nightmare. I always hate when people say they're doing emails because I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, what are you doing in your emails? But here I am. My hairbrush is still in my luggage. I was gonna brush my hair really quick. And then I was gonna show you what I got from Vegas. So with Stop by, I'm like out of breath from walking two feet. I don't know what my issue is, but we uh, stopped by some of the shops. Um, designer shopping is key there. And I'm gonna set you down here. Okay, well that's really dark. But designer shopping is like really, really, really iconic there. Like people go to Vegas to do the shopping because their stores are really big there. They have like all the options in store. Um, honestly, anything you're looking for is there. Not only designer shopping, just all shopping, but I got two things that are designer. Very excited about. I typically don't share purchases like this, um, but who cares, you know? It's like people are gonna judge me for something anyway, so why not be this? And I wanna brush my hair before I show you. So let me find my hairbrush, and I'm gonna show you my goodies that I'm real excited about. Okay, I found my hairbrush. I let my hair air dry a little bit before I blow dry it fully just because that's a lot of heat on the hair. So I just let it get as, you know, until it's like damp, not soaking wet. And then I blow dry because I feel like that's taking it a little easier on the hair because I put enough heat on it already. But I just realized I bought a third thing that I completely forgot about. And it's because this item was quite impulsive of a purchase. So let me gather my new goodies and then I will do a presentation. This is the best part of being a YouTuber. Stupid stuff like this. <laughs> okay, first I would like to present to you a pair of shoes that I got before I went on my trip. So I didn't get these in Vegas, but I bought these for the trip. I'm putting them on my bed and I wore them. That's really gross. And I just thought about that as soon as they fell out onto the bed. So that's exciting. Let's go ahead and get the duster bag going. Oh my God, all the chirps. Vegas floors, baby. Okay. These are just ridiculous. Like that is a ridiculous shoe. It's beautiful and I'm obsessed. So I got these and I wore them to brunch with a really cute outfit. I did not get, I did not get one outfit picture the whole time I was in Vegas and I wore three really crazy, really, really cute outfits. I have zero proof, zero, none. No proof of any of the outfits. 
so I can like lay them out and show you and I feel like that gives me back some it gives me something okay because I did a really bad job with content I was just having a good time I did film a reel I don't love the way it came out but I posted it today I'll show you let me just show you my frustration okay so here's the reel and it was one of my looks. The whole trip was euphoria themed. So the looks were a little more outlandish, really fun makeup and hair. So this is the look. And the problem with the reel that I don't like is because it took me so long to do this makeup that the lighting changed in the room. And when I started the reel, the lighting was really beautiful and light and looked nice. Look at my lighting now, oh my God. Am I okay? I like I'm on the sun. What in the hell? Oh my God. Lighting will be the death of me on my tombstone. They're gonna put lighting issues. So it took so long. By the time I was doing the transition to my makeup being done, the room was like orange and my makeup looked not nearly as good as it did in person. I swear, I use no filters on my reels. It's me. So I don't know if you can see. Go to my Instagram, Laura Larley. Click this reel and like tell me. Look how light the lighting is and like bright and pretty. Oh, it turns orange. And it makes my lips and makeup look kind of unflattering. See how light it was? I don't know. But I was like, that was my only piece of content I got from Vegas. My only one little baby piece. So <laughs> I posted it. <laughs> no regrets. But anyways, I'm being a drama queen. This is the shoe. It's everything I wore it to brunch. I will put the outfit together that I wore and show you. Okay, here's a visual of my outfit that I wore with these heels. Oh my God, they're so pretty. I also like that they're a low heel, so they're a bit more comfortable, but my feet already were covered in blisters by the time it was time to wear these. And baby, fashion, there you just can't feel the pain. You gotta work through it. So I wore them anyways. Anyways, how fucking cute is this outfit, guys? I'm dead. I'm dead. So I have my Abercrombie Curb Love jeans. These are the high rise, high rise, high rise, high rise jeans. This is the coolest purse ever. Ty got this for me. And well, I picked it out. I mean, he said, why do you give me credit? You picked it out. So I was like, yeah, I picked it out. <laughs> this Chanel bag is everything. So beautiful. Little flap. It's pretty sizey. I don't know. This is a good size purse for me though. But the best thing about this is I wore it as a belt bag the first night and a brunch. So you can tie it around your waist. And with this little ball right here, you just, let me show you. You press the Chanel, iconic. You press it in and you pull it and it tightens like that or you can loosen it and wear it as a crossbody. So it's a two-way bag. I even walked in the Chanel store wearing it like this and they, wearing this outfit actually. And the guy was like, oh my God, I've never seen someone actually wear it as a belt. So much cuter. I love it. And I was like, yes. I felt really proud that a Chanel employee told me that. But anyways, uh, top is $10 from Amazon. I bought it to go with my Halloween costume and ended up, cause I was an angel and I ended up not using it for that. So I was like, this is like chic. This is the moment. And then the heels. So this is my brunch outfit. Just imagine me in it looking cute because I didn't get a picture. Oh my God, it's so cute even laying out on the floor. So this was my outfit. This was the cutest outfit on earth. I'm honestly probably gonna re-put it on and take a picture in it because it's such a shame I didn't get a picture in this cute ass euphoria themed outfit. So this satin purple skirt, I don't know if you guys remember it, but I showed you it in a clothing haul. And sometimes I think people think like, why do you buy the most random stuff? But listen, every piece has its moment and like, I knew this skirt would have a moment. And then they said Euphoria Vegas. And I said, oh my God, purple Zara. And here we are. Again with the belt bag, I did wear it the same way twice. I had to like, look, look at how beautiful this is with that accessory right in the middle. And then I got this top. I picked it up right before I we went because I love the design. It reminded me of Euphoria and it's from Urban Outfitters. So I just got it. I'm sure they still have it in multiple colors, but it also had the same like hues, not the same colors because this is like a little more blue and then like salmon and baby pink and green. So, but the hues were the same. So I knew that this would go together really well. So, and it did. Like, mm, I just love it. I like this outfit because it's not a cookie cutter outfit. It's not an outfit that you bought as a set together. It's an outfit you can tell 
you saw it out and you piece together. And then I wore with these shoes from Topshop right here. Girl, I was feathered out this weekend. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, had to. I've had these shoes for a long time. And these are the shoes that broke me. And that's because we stayed out pretty late on the first night. And these shoes, I think I stood up in for like four or five hours. And my feet are so messed up right now from it. I'm not okay. It's not even that high of a hill. The, girl, this is the floor of Vegas. That's what I put on my bed, by the way. In early 2000s is the outfit I wanted to wear, but I was 11 years old and I didn't have a Chanel bag. <laughs> so there were problems. Okay, we're cutting to the next item I bought and then we'll go back to my last outfit because I carried this bag with that outfit. So I need to explain the bag first. But this is a new Prada bag I purchased in Vegas at the Prada store. That is a huge one in the Wynn Hotel. If you ever want to go and just take a little peek, it's dangerous in there. It's like three rooms. I'm like, oh my God, get me out of here. And then I was leaving and then I was like, wait, she's speaking to me. So I went back and picked her up. They also have this in black, but I like a little bit of brightness in my bag collection. So this is a, the material is so soft, but little Prada bag. I love that it. it's the shape of the logo and it's a wristlet. So this was perfect for my outfit for night two. This outfit was a little crazier than I anticipated. The skirt was a little shorter than I anticipated, but I thought I was like being too much wearing this. And then I walk out and all the girls have the funnest outfits I've ever seen in my life on. Like everyone went full out. No one gave it 80%. Everyone is understood the assignment. Everyone turned their looks out. So I felt very like on theme and I was like, okay, this is a good decision to wear this because this was a freaking moment. And look how cute the bag is with it. I die. Whenever I showed the girls, they loved. Um, and then the shoes I chose with it, I wanted to do something. Why is this like a fairy, fairy princess? Just, it's not as fairy princess on, I don't think, but these Steve Madden shoes I bought for Paris a couple years back and I haven't worn them since Paris. So I wear them now. So I wore them now. They're by Steve Madden. I don't know. If I can find them, I'll link them. But God, they're pretty. And when the light hits them at night, oh my God, they're amazing. Okay, so next I have to show you the shoes I bought. Because that's my next item I purchased. Oh yeah. Dior. Obsessed. So let's open her up. I haven't really opened this since I bought them because I was going home. A little gold star on there. It's cute. Oh, it's hard to do with one hand. Here they are. There's my bill. They always wrap them up really nicely. So, yes. Gorgeous box. Really thick. I had a really pretty Prada box that came with that purse, but I had to throw it out because it wouldn't fit in my luggage. But I don't really keep the boxes anyways. Oh my gosh. So I think this is the card that authenticates the shoe to prove that it's a real shoe. Actually, this could just be like a return policy. I'm an idiot. Duster bag, tissue paper, more tissue paper. Oh my God, this is the prettiest shoe. Now, if you're looking at the shoe and it's like, it's not the vibe, first of all, it is. Second of all, just like wait till you see it on the foot. It's like a whole different situation. But anyways, they had these in a bunch of different colors and like heel lengths. I went with the highest heel length because it's like really hot on. And the color I went with is black. Like, cause this is such a classy, classic type of shoe. But I went with the black with texture. Do you see that? Oof, that is so pretty. How cute is that? I'm a seven and a half. So, got these. Maybe I'll try them on for you, darling. Here is a look. Ignore my pajama pants. I know you see them. Here is a look of them. I have blisters all over my feet right now, by the way, so they are hurting, especially my big toe. Oh my God, it hurts so bad to wear these. I'm gonna have to give it a little time to heal the feet. I also have blisters on the backs of my heels. Anyways, about the shoe. Everything, right? I mean, look, look at that. Wow. Let's go look in the mirror. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, oof, oof. Okay, now you get like a good, actually it's so dark. Can you see how cute they are? There they are. They're so cute. I'm obsessed. I will be wearing them out and they're fabulous. Okay guys, I'm gonna fix dinner and then I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I'm probably gonna leave that luggage sitting there for about another day because I'm not in the mood.
Thank you for watching. Bye guys.